morning, Tony. Hi, Tony, Aki. Aki, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Aki, if you yeah. just want to go and see Erin, she's yeah. going to grab your first name, get all okay. your details, make yourself a board. All right. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Let's come aboard. Let's throw your shoes into the blue tarp. This story is about diving on the Great Barrier Reef. We'll look at a couple of phrasal verbs, tell you what humongous means, and show you some ways to make conversation. So you're the skipper of the boat? Yes, yes, uh, I'm the skipper. That's nice. So could you tell me where, where we're going today? We're going to go out to Opal Reef. Opal Reef. Yep, which is uh, out on the edge of the continental shelf. Oh. It takes about an hour and a half. A big green fish up there, big Mary rest up there. That's great. The skipper of a boat is the captain or person in charge. Notice how Aki makes conversation by asking something he knows is easy to answer. So you're the skipper of the boat? Yes, uh, yes, I'm the skipper. So what does he say next? That's nice. So could you tell me where, where we're going today? He says, that's nice. He could also have said, that's good, or, oh yeah. Only then does he ask a question. That's nice. So could you tell me where, where we're going today? The question is not direct. He doesn't simply ask, where are we going? Instead, he asks, so could you tell me where we're going? Because it's more polite. So where are they going? We're going to go out to Opal Reef. Opal Reef. Yep, which is uh, out on the edge of the continental shelf. Oh. It takes about an hour and a half. A big green fish up there, big Mary rest oh. up there. That's great. Again, Aki uses an encouraging and positive phrase. That's great. Now listen to some phrasal verbs that mean stopping and go. Now um, the site we're pulling up to is called Snow. It stands for South North Opal. As you can see, we're just turning the back of the boat around so all the coral will be right out the back there for you. So all you have to do is head off down the back of the boat, jump in the water, the coral will be right there. Pulling up is stopping. Now um, the site we're pulling up to is called Snow. It stands for South North Opal. Head off means to start a journey or, as here, just go. As you can see, we're just turning the back of the boat around so all the coral will be right out the back there for you. So all you have to do is head off down the back of the boat, jump in the water, the coral will be right there. Now, what does Aki do when he dives in? Well, you know, when I go dive, you know, hold my breath and go under the water and swim with fish. I can see the coral and fish and to swim with them is just soothe me. It's almost like I feel like I, I'm part of it, you know? He holds his breath. He doesn't breathe. Now listen to Aki making conversation again. So, Joe, um, you work for Calypso. Yeah. Um, how long have you been working? I've been working for about two and a half years now. Again, Aki asks questions that are easy to answer. But he's not sure of Joe's status. Listen to how he asks about it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, you are a dive master, or...? He uses a rising inflection at the end to show that it's a question. So, you are a dive master, or...? And leaves it to Joe to complete the sentence. Oh, that's nice. Right. Yeah. So you are a dive master? Or? I'm a dive instructor. Oh, yeah. instructor. Sorry. Wow, that's a <laughs> top up yep. there. Oh, that's great. We'll finish with a word that means very big, humongous. Yeah. Woo. Oh, okay. That was great. Okay. The coral was like a flower. It's a different colors of a garden. It's beautiful. And then did you see the big, big fish? That thing is humongous like this. I'm going down again. <laughs>